Hello everyone, Shraddha here from Love Bites. How are weeknight dinners preps going on? Today is a weeknight and I've done a really quick under 20 minutes recipe. It's a chicken and mushroom stir fry. Beautiful flavors, not spicy. So if you want a spicy, spike it. I love the flavors, I don't need the spice for this one. Enjoy it with rice on the side or with uh, noodles. Even a quinoa can do on the side, I guess. I'm not having either of that. I'm just having it plain. I love it. All the recipes are given in the description box below. Have a look. Please subscribe. Ask your loved ones to subscribe. I love doing this for you all. And I hope you all are enjoying my recipes. Thank you so much. To make our mushroom and chicken stir fry, I need to marinate the chicken. I've sliced the chicken into thin strips. To that, we're going to add some soy sauce. You can use tamari for healthier options. A bit of sugar corn flour, baking soda. Just mix it well and we're going to leave it to marinate for 15 to 20 minutes. Let's make a stir fry sauce. For this we need some light soy sauce, sesame oil, oyster sauce, rice vinegar, white pepper powder. If you don't have white you can use black sugar and some cornstarch. Mix it well till the cornstarch and sugar dissolves and then keep it aside. Heat a wok, to that we're going to add some sesame oil. You can use regular oil if you don't have sesame oil. Once that heats up, we're going to add in the chicken that we have marinated and just cook it. I have not added any salt because all the sauces will have salt so I don't want to take a chance. You should just cook the chicken until done. The chicken is looking done, so I'm just going to take it out in another bowl and keep it aside for now. Heat a wok, add some oil, again sesame or any other oil of your choice. Once the oil heats up, we're going to add some onion, some ginger and garlic. Dry red chicken. Just to saute. After quick saute, the onions are looking a bit translucent. To this, we're going to add some yellow peppers, red peppers. In this, you can use any vegetables of your choice. Now, we we'll just cook them when it's a little done, not full. Our peppers are done. I don't want it soft. I want the crunch to be there. To that, I'm adding some sliced mushrooms. You can add broccoli, snow peas, whatever you want in this. I just want the mushrooms to cook a little and to this we are going to add some green part of the spring onions. The vegetables look done so let's add the chicken back in. Just a mix and to that we are going to add the stir fry sauce we have made. If the sauce is feeling thick add a bit of water, mix it well. Now taste your seasonings now and your salt. This is a very simple and a quick recipe and it's very healthy. Because of the baking soda and corn flour, the chicken stays a bit crispy as well. Here is the chicken all ready. In the end, sprinkle some sesame seeds and serve. Have it with noodles or rice or as is the way I like it. That way you don't even have to have the carbs and you can have a very good, delicious, protein-based meal. Please do give it a try. Thank you.